Welcome back to The Beer's Gone Bad. Where the beer flows like wine. We are your hosts. I'm Pat Tugin. I'm Scott Van Vogt. Scott, we've got something special. We do. We have something special for all of you tonight. We do. We had uh, one of our buddies fly over a beer all the way from Kiwiland, down under. Is, is it down under? For the lay people, that is uh, New Zealand. I was going to say across the pond, but I guess it's kind across of... Across the pond and down under. Under the pond. We're doing spites. Spites Gold Medal Ale tonight. There you are. Oh, yeah. What do you know about Spites? <coughs> I know it's from New Zealand. That's about as far as I got to. <laughs> it's uh, a brown ale. Um, I had this when I was down there visiting a couple friends for a while. They have Spites on tap kind of like they have Budweiser. Spites and Lion Red are kind of like what you do down there. This is your going out beer. If you want to get rowdy and go party, you know, grab a couple of Spites, grab a couple of Lion Reds. Is it really as prevalent as, as Budweiser? I would say this is like the cores okay. of what that is. Because it's there, it's a big one, but... What about Steinlager? Steinlager's pretty big down there. They actually have one called Steinlager Pure that was pretty good. We're going to get into... Yeah, we've got four of them actually that came from New Zealand. It's going to be a whole Kiwi week. Yeah. Kiwi week. So, we read that this one is from the South Island. It's referred to as the Northerners, uh, as the Southern beer for the Southern boy. The pride of the South, it says here. Traditional brewers of fine ale since 1876. Dude, 1876. I love this. This is the best part about this, the New Zealand beers. It says at the bottom here, contains approximately 1.0 standard drinks. So they're telling you that this is once drink, which I mean, we just yeah. put into two. Smell that, dude. What does that remind you of? Budweiser, 100%. Reminds me of like a high school like keg cup. Yes, it does. Right? Wow. Almost like that kind of stale beer smell. One Bud Light, ten Rasputin. What color are you coming on this? That house like one and a half, two. Yeah, I'm right there too. It's super clear, but it's got a little bit darker color to it. Yeah. What's your bubbling doing? You have any carbonation in there? I get a little bit. Basically zero head though. Yeah, not not a whole lot there. It's probably a good recommendation to pint glass. And the lacing? According to JC, is when the bubbles stay on the outside of the glass, which is non very non prevalent. Well, let's get into it. Cheers. Spites. Wow. That that really, honestly, smelled like a cake cup, but tasted a little bit better. Yeah, hell yeah, it tastes way better than a cake cup. Hmm. That's fine, though. Like, that, the first thing you want to think of is, like, that Budweiser kind of red cup. Like, I just, like, pour it out of the keg kind of taste. That's kind of a good idea, though. If you had a beer that smelled a little bit bad, and then you taste it, you're, like, kind of bracing yourself for it, and you're like, oh, oh, actually, that's kind of refreshing. Can you see where this one is kind of that beer on tap at the bar? Yeah, The really totally. easy beer that you just have on tap that everybody wants to go party with. I have a feeling like Yingling would taste like this. That's the New York beer, right? The East Coast, the oldest brewery in America. Do we have any of that? No, I'm working on it, though. Our buddies from uh, from New Zealand brought this over. He trekked it all the way over on the plane, all across the southern states of uh, America, to our door in San Diego. Unrolled into my living room in a uh, in a towel with four of its little buddies. So this guy's been all over the world here. It was so funny though, because like the New Zealand beer scene, there's some funny ones down there. But I mean, for the most part, they're all, you know, I mean, there's not that much diversity down there. This is the first beer I've had since Las Vegas. Oh, there you go. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome Cheers. back. Can you even taste anything? A little bit. I've been sick. We went to Las Vegas and we kind of went a little crazy. And the last thing I had, last drink I had was a shot of tequila and a Coors Light at a airport bar. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was it. And then what are you going to put this on the taste on this one? Where are you drinking this? I'm drinking this at a bar. A mm -hmm. crowded bar. I like it. In New Zealand, probably. If they had it here, I'd drink it here. It smells like Budweiser to me, just like a little bit thicker Budweiser. Ugh. Tastes kind of about the same. Yeah, I mean... It's not amazing, it's easy to drink. You probably get a good picture of this and play some beer pong. Yeah, four. Yeah. Um, same thing, four. Shotgun ability is like a one, though. Maybe two. No, one's, I'm one's sorry. Bad. Ten, nine. So you, you say you could shotgun this eat real easy? Oh, yeah, if this came in a can, I think this would be done. I wonder if they do come in a can. That'd be amazing. I'd give it a nine. Let's give it a nine. Well, shotgun nine, taste four, <coughs> color two. Fun ten. Fun ten? Wow, okay. It's one, of those, it's one of those ones that you, you can put a few down pretty quick. I'm going to finish it. That's a good one, dude. Spice. 
there you go, one of four. We'll see you next time. Fun in the bottle. So guys, we are the Beer's Gone Bad. Oh, yeah. With Beer Flows Like One, thanks for checking in. Kiwi Adventure Part 1. See you next time. Thank you.